Before starting your lab, you want to make sure that the computer powers on. It does not need to boot into Windows, but it must boot into the blue startup screen. Unplug the power cord and press the power button for three seconds to discharge any capacitors. You will need the following materials for your lab. A toolkit, a syringe of thermal grease, alcohol prep pads, and a pair of rubber gloves. Stop the video now and complete the tasks and answer the questions for task one. Next, open the cover to the PC. Make sure you're wearing a wrist strap to prevent electrostatic discharge, or ESD. Locate and remove the plastic cover that sits on the heatsink. There are wires attached to it that you have to unhook. This could be a bit difficult. Locate the four screws that attach the heatsink to the motherboard. Using a Torx bit and your screwdriver, carefully remove them. It's good practice to remove the CD drive in order to access the screws that remove the heatsink. Once the drive is out of the way, you should be able to unscrew those difficult to reach screws. Before proceeding, make sure to put on a pair of rubber gloves. Carefully lift the heatsink off of the CPU and set it down on the table. Use your alcohol prep pads to clean the surface of the heatsink and also clean the surface of the CPU. Make sure you throw out the soiled pads immediately after doing this. You want to avoid getting the thermal grease on any electrical parts or your body or your clothing. Stop! Stop the video now and complete the tasks and answer the questions for task number two. Make sure that you discard the soiled pads and get a new pair of gloves. With a clean pair of gloves, carefully lift the lever of the CPU socket to release the CPU. Remove the CPU from its socket. Handle the CPU very carefully by its corners and avoid touching the pins on the bottom. Do not set the CPU pin side down. If you must set the CPU down, do it on a gloved hand with the pins facing up, like this. Before reinstalling the CPU, ensure that the triangle that is printed on the bottom corner of the CPU lines up with the triangle that is printed on the motherboard. Do not install the CPU incorrectly. This will damage the CPU. Notice that the triangles do not line up. Again, make sure that the triangles line up before securing the CPU in its socket. Make sure to also pull down the lever that locks in the CPU. The video now and answer the questions and complete the tasks for task number three. Once the CPU is installed, uncap the syringe of thermal grease. Do not squeeze the grease out of the syringe, please. It's not a toy. Then apply a small pea-sized dot of thermal grease in the center of the CPU. It's not necessary to add a lot or spread it around. Carefully place the heat sink back on the CPU. Tighten the four screws evenly to ensure a proper fit. Do not over-tighten the screws. If you remove the CD drive to get to the screws, replace the CD drive in the computer, making sure to reconnect all of the wires that connect to it. Place the plastic cover that sits on the heatsink, making sure to clip in the wires in their proper position. Stop the video now and complete the tasks and answer the questions for task number four.
clean up your workstation before continuing. Put away all tools and throw away any waste. If your workstation looks like this, you're going to make Mr. Westfall cry. LOL. With the cover off, plug the computer back in and power it on. Use the infrared thermometer to check and record the temperature of the heatsink. Make sure that the computer powers on. Lastly, unplug the computer and replace the lid. Your lab is done. Great job.